Audrey McMillan and her mother, Linda, rent an apartment in this 183-year-old Felicity building. But for the past three days... It is very, very unsafe. They've been too afraid to live here. They're afraid because of this hole in the ceiling and this hole in the floor. You got to be careful because this whole floor leans this way. A floor they're worried could collapse at any moment. But we got people underneath us. We're sitting on the couch or wherever and something falls through. Well, if it hurts somebody. She's also worried this wall could fall. Just put a bit of pressure on it and you can actually hear it wiggling around. The fire department was called here June 3rd when carpeting caught on fire. Investigators say it was caused by this baseboard heater, which they say had no working off switch. The fire department issued a citation against the building owner. Then, June 13th, Child Protective Services raised concerns about exposed wires and the floor, which they say was at risk of falling through. CPS temporarily took custody of Audrey McMillan's kids. She and her mom are now sleeping in a car with no air conditioning. We both got severe breathing problems. It gets so hot in there, it's not funny. And late this evening, we did finally hear from the building manager. She says she learned of the hole in the floor just yesterday, but that when a maintenance man went by, no one was home, so they couldn't get inside. She does say they do plan to go back tomorrow to fix the floor, but says they aren't aware of any of the other issues tenants are raising here. Paula? All right, we'll have to follow up. Thank you, Luke. The McMillan say CPS was paying a portion of their rent, but isn't offering them any money to rent a new place. They say they are looking for another apartment and plan to move as soon as they have the money to do so. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.